On behalf of Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute, it is indeed a pleasure to welcome you tonight to our Anti-Corruption Gala Dinner and Art Exhibition 2024. You could have been in any number of other places, and we appreciate that you have chosen to be here to tangibly support the Institute. We have arranged a program tonight aimed at satisfying you intellectually, artistically, socially, and gastronomically. Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute is a non-governmental, not-for-profit, membership-based organization. Last year, 2023, the Institute celebrated its 25th anniversary of anti-corruption activism in Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Dumas told the story of how his initial inquiries at the German Embassy about joining Transparency Institute TI it was unhelpful and the, because the embassy had no information. He was catching the first wave of Transparency International's growth into over 100 countries. TI was yet in its early days. It's now 31 years old. Mr. Dumas persisted and made contact with TI and invited representatives to Trinidad and Tobago, and out of that was born our national chapter, Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute, TTTI. People often get those letters a little tongue-tied, but we understand. Over the years, the Institute has been, a sh has been shining a light on corruption using advocacy through speaking out and education. Today, it is commonplace for public utterances to reference transparency, accountability, integrity, and good governance in the conduct of both public and private sector business, which we believe is evidence that the Institute's advocacy has made these expectations the status quo. The objective of Transparency International has been to create watchdogs for transparency everywhere, to create a movement. While this is not the time or place to go into details about being a movement, suffice it to say such a movement has a place for you and I. Having raised awareness and recognizing that the problems we tackle are complex and deep-seated, Transparency International's strategic thrust shifted to holding power to account. National chapters are asked to identify loopholes in legislation and to understand the root causes to corruption through evidence-based research. This aspect of our work I will, live, I will label advocacy by doing. Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute completed a business integrity country assessment in 2018, one of only 13 chapters to do so. This assessment drives our thrust in advocating for whistleblower legislation and campaign finance reform our work of providing free legal advice to victims and witnesses of corruption through our advocacy and legal advisory clinic, ALAC, and our recognition that sustainable change requires engaging our youth, which led us to establish seven integrity clubs in secondary schools, a program which post-COVID needs to be revitalized and expanded throughout the length and breadth of Trinidad and Tobago. We also dream of establishing a center for ethics studies and research to be a conduit for evidence-based decision-making and ethical excellence. We are currently involved in a project with Transparency International to assess Trinidad and Tobago's progress with the commitments made at the Summit of the Americas 8 and 9, another part of our evidence-based research. TTTI has been heavily invested in our advocacy through doing. 
advocacy through speaking out against corrupt practices is necessary. And we have heard you that you want to hear more from TTTI. Finding the right mix between speaking and doing will be our challenge in the next leg of this anti-corruption really. We want that mix to lead to sustainable change and not just knee-jerk reactions to concerns about corrupt practices. Having said this, let me also see that within TTTI, our work is driven wholly and almost exclusively by a board consisting of eight volunteer directors, most of whom have full-time jobs and obligations but have a passion for making an impact on Trinidad and Tobago's anti-corruption landscape. And we are supported by two salaried staff who work at our secretariat. This brings me back to the movement. To make appreciable change in a timely and sustained manner, we need support. So I throw out tonight, what can you do in the movement? What talent or skill do you possess that can help move Trinidad and Tobago forward to our vision of a Trinidad and Tobago free from corruption? Alone, you may feel helpless. Together, I believe, we can make a difference. In keeping with our mandate to identify loopholes in legislation, we have invited the esteemed Dr. Terence Farrell to speak on the theme, Restoration of the People's Trust, the Legislative Imperative. We are all looking forward to your discourse, Dr. Farrell. As I end, I would like to borrow a thought from Matthew Kelly's book, Rediscovering Catholicism, because for me it resonated quite a bit. Life is not so much about something we inherited from past generations or take over from our predecessors as it is something on loan to us from future generations. I thank you and enjoy the evening. <laughs>